There's the pneumatic silhouetted or, or sitting in front of the Titanic Exhibition Center and panning round. This is the Dock Cafe. Honesty Box Cafe. Only one in the country, as far as I know. The Dock Cafe, it's an Honesty Box Cafe where you take what you want from what's on offer and you leave whatever you like. And it's a fabulous environment to sit and relax. And it's run by the main churches, an amalgamation of the main churches here. I think they're all involved. And it's full of uh, maritime memorabilia, and it's full of Titanic memorabilia. And they do art exhibitions and what have you as well. The Duck Cafe is not a Mickey Mouse affair at all. They've produced this um, wee booklet explaining what it's all about. What is the Duck Cafe Market Prayer Garden Sunday nights? Volunteers, what our visitors say. And this guy, Chris Bennett, is the uh, lead chaplain. Doc is an ethos of momentum, a vision to build life in the Titanic Quarter. Under that umbrella, countless expressions of this, that life can flourish, multiply and propagate. And this is what they believe. Living in a community with other people, living in relationship with God, living together with people from all backgrounds. You can read all that for yourself. Very much a cross-community Christian evangelical effort. And as I say, you come in here, you have what you like, and you leave what you like. <laughs> None of the sofas, tables, chairs, mugs or plates in the dock match because every single one has been donated by one of our customers. Not good. But it's no junk shop. Pretty fussy about what goes on. And there's a dock market. Dock prayer garden. Sunday nights. And an opportunity to meet the team, neighbours, supporters, and newcomers. I think they have uh, a get together, some sort of worship service. And that's all about volunteers, and this is all about what our visitors say. And this is the church at the heart of the uh, maritime community down here offering support. This is the wee leaflet about the Honesty Cafe, Honesty Bucks. These wee leaflets are found in most of the tables. Interesting idea. I don't know if any other Honesty Box Cafe anywhere. There must be some somewhere. Is this a first for Belfast? Don't know. And this wee alcove in the Duck Cafe is dedicated to the SS Nomadic.
and this one dedicated to photographs of HMS Caroline. Nomadic, of course, part of the White Star Line and tender to the Titanic. Uh, it's really worth coming to see this place. I have never seen these photographs up anywhere else before. We've got a, a, a prayer garden in here, so if you want time to reflect, and pray you come in here words from St. Patrick and people have uh, left me notelets here we prayer requests probably A smile is a curve that sets everything straight. Please take a smile. Not good. The people who run this place have certainly a sense of humour, and I like that. The map reflects where people who visit the Dot Cafe and Abercorn Basin and Titanic Exhibition are coming from map of the world so you, you're encouraged to place a pin in this the country of your origin folks coming from all over the world and dropping in here and look at this stool a lot of photographic memorabilia here and uh, the big uh, yellow bits on the wall and supports have been placed to, uh, to look like uh, Goliath and Samson, the hard and wolf cranes. It's a big uh, photograph here of an aerial view of Belfast Docks. There's the Bordney Dolphin away up on the left hand side there. Belfast City Airport up here. Look at this piece of abstract art used, uh, built up by a series of uh, metal pieces, tools included in there. Uh, it's uh, off the Titanic, of course. And some old photographs down below. I think that's fabulous. Come down and enjoy this place for yourself.